I'm frozen. Good girl, look up. Don't run over there, anybody. Don't let him drift too far. Keep your legs on his belly. Work with him by keeping his leg on. Then now when Sophie puts her leg on, he doesn't react overly sensitively to it like he used to. Yeah. So that's a big help. Because yeah. what would happen is she'd put her leg on and then she'd catch him in the mouth because he'd lose her balance. He'd cause her to fall backwards. And yeah. And then she'd have to slow him down so it'd be a bigger pull. Brandon's a little bit more stronger as a trainer. Yeah, and Brandon's so like going to be an adult and he, Sophie's not ever going to ride like Brandon for years. No. I know, and she doesn't even have like the same length or strength in her body that a man will have. Yeah, that's it. Train train. But I think they're doing great. Absolutely. And I think Brandon did great. I think I left my phone. You went over to that corner and grabbed jumps. Would you have maybe sat on the ledge over there when you grabbed them? Can you call your phone from your... Uh, phone dad and ask him if it's in the car. Dad's in the car. Oh, we'll use my phone. Come on up the truck poles. When you go over the poles, I want to see you press your hands forward so he can stretch his neck down. Let him trot his speed. Hands forward. Girl. Alright, take a breather. Don't you feel like when you have a crazy pony and then suddenly you're you're figuring it out and your pony's doing well it's the most rewarding feeling yeah it's like um training your horse and getting it to be wonderful and amazing versus playing a already made horse that you oh i i want the already made horse really like don't get me wrong i'd take the already made yeah, but horse it's not, as rewarding. it's not as rewarding like i don't even know how to train a horse but i trained penny to go slow and it's rewarding. And it was just like natural. I just did stuff till it worked. And yeah, it, it's like, and it made us have the craziest bond ever. I'm actually gonna have you come up here and hop off and your sister's gonna hold your pony. All right. She's like, get, get off. off. What do you mean get off? She knows what's happening. I'm knucklehead. Did you call her a knucklehead? Yeah. Hold the chair back so it's on its heels. Back yourself up. Loosen your reins a little bit. I want the chair further away. Loosen it. There. It's harder when it's further away. You want to watch and see what it looks like, right? <laughs> Rock it, Sophie. There. All right, let's drop. And your goal is to keep that chair as steady as possible. Good. Your hands are getting much better. Yeah. Don't let the front end go down, though, miss. It's cheating. <laughs> No wonder she's doing so good. She's cheating. Good. Let me see you can her. Pull it back a little bit. <laughs> it all goes. To, no wonder oh, Finn doesn't oh, like. Oh, oh, that's right. If you can't can her on your own two feet, it's actually very hard to can her on your horse. So you're actually pulling your bit sideways. Let's keep our bit in the center. Tip your chair. Up. Up. Yeah. And light on your feet. Come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Good. You're um, not using your chair, though. <laughs> I know it's hard. Tip your chair. Good. Keep it tipped. Lift your hands up. Okay. Go ahead and can her. I'm impressed she knows up. how to can, can her. Oh. See how much chair's moving now? It's harder, isn't it? That's it. Now change your lead. You don't have to do it at the canner. You can stop and then can her on the other leg. Oh, keep it up. I want to try. That's it. No, you don't want to try. Oh. You just killed your horse. You can't lose your focus. So that tells me that you can't talk while you ride. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Because that tells you that you lose your focus. You have to really keep your focus on the canter going up, bubbling up, bubbling up. And we want to keep this from moving. Our job, don't get shorter. So if you shorten up those reins, that doesn't make it easier for you. you just step back. Pull up the contact. That's it. Now look at your chair for a second. Stare at your chair. Keep your hands in front of you. Canter and work on your chair. Go 
don't worry about us. Just think about your hands and your chair. There you go. This might be actually easier than I thought. Ah, Just crap. the running part might be hard. Put your chair up. There you go. So instead of bringing your feet back, lift your knees up. Chair up off the ground. Okay. This running part's hard. Yes. Knees up, Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's it. She's got good elbows though. We worked on this. Oh, I'm just... I'm moving forward though. Yeah, you need to stay away from chair. Loosen your waist. There you go. Don't let your chair hit the ground. Good. Canter. <laughs> How do I canter? Up, 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 up. You're skipping. One than the other. I can't do that. I'm not that... You can't run the ring all the time. Oh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Come on, Fiona. That's a 12 year old thing. But she knew how to do it. Come on. There you go. There you go. You got it. It's hard. You have to do it on your horse. So, and it is honestly the truth. If you can't do it on your own feet, it's really hard to put it on your horse. And remember, we've been working on two sides? Yes. Oh, the twerking? Twerking, yes. <laughs> so, you need to have two sides to your canner. It's up. There you go, there you go. We just can her up together. Can her up, 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 up. There you go. Can her on the other leg. Okay. I'm better than You are better that way. I just move forward. Don't give away your chair. There you go. There you go. Now make a big, big canner. Big canner? Don't shorten your wrist. So can her on. Yep, and then, so you're lengthening your stride bigger. So higher, higher for you, yeah? Keep your hand oh, quiet. So, so if we have our working canner, our lengthens canner, because we're lifting, we're asking our horse for more, right? More, 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 more. For us, it's more up, it's not longer. Yes, tear I'm off the ground. Forward. Tear off the ground, you can go back to trotting. I'm <laughs> Look at how cute that trot is. I know. So, you're holding your chair again. Push those hands forward. Good. The whole goal to holding the chair is to teach our hands to be separate from our body. When we can balance that chair, we know what a little bit of contact feels like, but we also know how to keep our elbows working so that our hands are separate from our moving body. Once we can do that, Finn will be much happier, so will Tino. Because those hands will definitely be separated. You definitely have the trot down though, Gabby. Gabby's gone. Gabby's gone. We worked really hard on those elbows though with the trot. Yeah. Her and I. Very hard. I don't know why elbows and wrists are my kids' hardest things. Wrists are the very hardest thing in anybody's riding. Really? You have to like literally imagine you have a cast on. Because everybody wants to ride with their wrists. If you imagine you have a cast on, you can't bend your wrist in a cast. Sure. You ever I broke? I have been trying today. I know. Mm. Yeah, that was a lot of leg. She's got to figure it out. She's at the figuring it out age. Oh God.
That's my favorite riding outfit of yours. Yeah. My favorite riding outfit of hers. She got these new breeches and I love them. I've got to just take that saddle pad home and wash it. Doors were nice and tight. Does that mean I don't have to use the double reins? Correct. So that's happening. Right on, sister. Right on. No double reins. No. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? No Pelham. No Pelham. I saw a girl with a Pelham at the show. There was lots of them. And the connectors. And the connectors, yeah. I saw that too. At the rated show, but apparently we're not allowed to call it rated shows. Most hunters wear Pelhams. Uh, right? Even the, no, even the plotting, they're in the Pelham. You see Pelhams and you see D-rings, and that is all you see. Kimberwicks are frowned upon. And so many people were so stressed out about that Pelham and how he was ridden in it. Look at ne that. Still shaking his head even without the Pelham, ladies and gentlemen. Never gave us a chance to even it. work to this point. Like, and still shook his head for Brandon. Yeah, it's not. It has nothing to do with the bit. He was braided for Brandon. My hair always annoys me, but then whenever I put it up the front, it's hard. Yeah. Inside leg in your corners. You're riding no differently than if you had the other bit. Don't jack up on your reins. Don't grab onto his face. Just ride like normal. The benefit to a snaffle or using the snaffle portion of your Pelham is that you can have contact unlike your Pelham where you have to ride your contacts through a loose rein. Yeah, there was like, I saw three or four young girls in their Pelham with their uh, transition pieces. Or yeah, pieces. like sometimes you, sometimes you have to transition. Rain. Sometimes you have to work through it. Sometimes horses and riders have to learn together through different... Sometimes horses just need that. Yeah, until they don't. And they don't make people under the age of 18, technically you don't have to wear double reins. Yeah. Until you're an adult. By law. So all those little kids in their Pelhams had connectors. She all just... right, kiddo, that's Canner. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Here, it's gonna go down. Push your hand forward. It's going down, it's going down. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Is that beautiful? Breathing. Remember your body needs to be solid. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boy. So we got a little happy, didn't we? And just because we took it off today doesn't mean that we won't use it again to reset him. See, he didn't like that though. What was it that she was doing? So Fiona told her because whenever he goes into a corner, he always like bulges out or he always like lets himself go looks like a race car and so Fiona said put your leg on put your leg on support him and keep him going right and he threw a fit he was mad and he even made sounds like like Penny at night if the grain is late <laughs> she complains all right so what Fiona said is that to and so when she puts her leg on it forces him to engage his core muscles and lift his shoulders and that's a lot of work and a lot to do and that's why he doesn't do it because he doesn't want to do it and that's why he complains that's why he'd rather that's why he does that stuff how do you feel okay. but do you feel okay with the bit yeah. good girl i'm proud of you sophie this is how dirty my feet are every day when i'm in my garden or when i'm with the horses every day i look like that you guys 
Can or on? From a walk. Inside leg, push him back to the rail and make him walk. Yeah. He's like, there's too many horses walk. there. When we came in, we saw Finn fighting other horses. Like, Finn started it. When you have calm walk, ask for your canter. Right away, give him a little half halt, say no, 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 not the pace I want. Tighten your thighs, bring your hands up, and breathe. There. Whew. Much better. We're going to go through the poles next. In those corners, you've got to get that leg on. Inside leg, inside leg. Inside leg, push him over. If he wants to go faster, you give a big half halt. <laughs> Look at that superstar. My boy. So I think you're thinking about a jump more than he is. Half hole, thumbs up, let him go. Good job. Oh, I can't believe, can't believe that's Sophie up there. He glides. He pushes. He's got power without the um, speed. He's, oh. he's not. He can go higher, but he's not throwing and over jumping. Half no. halt. Use your legs to one half halt. There. Like he just flies over the jump. I'm a good love. I'm a good love. Bring him back. Collect your canner. Yes, there. Good boy. Keep it collected. Look. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. I know, that's what I mean. The other part of this is you can actually, with a snaffle, you can have a little more contact. It just means you actually have to pull harder to get them to listen sometimes. You just have to remember to release that pull so you're not holding that strength, right? <laughs> He's like, oh, man. This is yes. You need to clean those boots. I feel like Finn likes this bit better. All right, keep walking. He's ridden in that bit before. But that was when he was fast and speedy. That wasn't that was fast and speedy? When he was fast and speedy. I know, but wasn't that fast and speedy? Yes. She was able to collect him better though. Thumbs on top! In the D ring? I am going to put a whip in your hands if you can't get it. The D ring? Thank you! Good girl. So we want to forget about the jumping portion. You don't want to jump. Your pace, your rhythm, you're in and you're out. How straight can you get in? How straight can you get out? Good girl. We raced it, you guys. One hole. This is it. She agreed. That was a really nice transition. I like your camera right off the bat that 
time. I know, but they have to look at me. So keep it together, don't let it get wet. I love this happy girl. Love this happy girl. So that was two feet. So she just jumped two feet, you guys. And I know it doesn't matter the height, but I'm just saying for confidence level, Sophie's, Sophie's got to two feet. That's not your she record. Just jumped and fell off. Yeah, two six is your record. Put one side up I know, but this is what you're going to be working on, like to get confident on. And one day you'll show two feet, like next year. <laughs> there's like bosses, there's fillers, there's everything finite. Everything Sophie oh, hates. That line's kind of fun, even that, though I hate bounces. You looked gorgeous. I like to, if you hate it, you need to work on it more. No, because I I like to um be able to like sit myself up and like wait a minute for the jump for the next jump. Yeah. That's jump, jump, jump. Yeah, it was gorgeous. I love that outfit too. Don't you know that you're beautiful?